Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my beach essentials, like what I'd be taking with me if I'm going to the beach for a couple hours that day just to relax. So if you'd like to see that video, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. This is my beach backpack. As you can see, it is the brand. I like don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's Fajal Raven Kankin, but that's what it looks like. I like this backpack because it fits what I need it to fit and it's still kind of tiny and compact as well as it being really durable because it is meant for camping. So we are going to start off with the blanket that is on top. Okay, so this is my beach blanket and I got this from Marilee's in Laguna Beach, but it's just your typical beach blanket. You can literally find them anywhere now and I love them because they're like thicker so the sand doesn't like come up and like it's not a towel so it's like more comfortable to lay on they're bigger they're just they're amazing and I love the print because it's very neutral and I'm really into that right now I really like this blanket I have about four and I use all of them just rotate in between but this one's my favorite right now so now we're gonna go into the side pockets of the backpack and on this side I just have my Sunbum tanning oil. I really enjoy it because it's like a lightweight oil so it doesn't feel too greasy. Um, it's got a lot of good benefits to it. It's gluten free, paraben free, PABA free, hypoallergenic, cruelty free. There's just like a whole bunch on here and I just really enjoy it and it works really well and makes me super bronze. This side I have my hairbrush. I dye my hair a lot and it is important that after I get out of the water I put some detangler in it and brush it so we'll get into that in a little bit but I just bring my wet brush with me and I love it and it detangles my hair perfectly. Now we're gonna go into the front pocket right here. Always keep my face mask because you know we're in weird times right now and I just like to keep it with me so if we get food after or smoothies or something that I'm like prepared and I have it with me. And then I also keep my scrunchies. These are specifically like my beach scrunchies. They are from the brand, I don't know how to say, so I'll put it on the screen, but I like them because they're like made, it feels like they're made from bathing suit materials. So when they get wet, they don't get like ruined or like lose coloring at all. And they're really good. They hold my hair really well and they're super fun colors. So love those. And now we're gonna go into the big part of the backpack. Let's start off with this little just like kind of care kit, like a beach care kit. Um, and I keep a whole bunch of stuff in here that I need while I'm out there. So as I mentioned earlier, I need to brush my hair after I get out of the water or else it's like a giant tangled mess because of how many times I have bleached it. So I like to use the Sumbum 3-in-1 uh, leave-in conditioner and I just keep a little mini one and then I have like a bigger one at home that I just like fill into this one so it's it's just smaller and easier to carry but I love it makes it your hair super soft and it smells so good I also like to keep my Sumba mineral tinted sunscreen face lotion um, I really love this stuff it's super lightweight and it kind of makes you matte like it keeps the shine away but it just works so well and I never get sunburns I never get sunburnt when I use it and I love it and I just it's like a necessity to me Okay, so next up I have my actual sunbum sunblock. I like the spray one personally, it's just easier. And I like that they're all like vegan because I can put this on my face and it won't make me break out. So like to touch up, I'll just put this one. And then the first one I use is like my mineral one. So this is just like my touch up and like my full body sunscreen. But I love it and it works really well and it keeps me from getting burnt. So it's always really good. Okay, and then I like to keep a chapstick. So this one's from Sunbum as well. I got like a little package of everything because I just really like Sunbum so I went and bought it all. <laughs> and I like it because it has SPF in it because my lips get so burnt. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm filming a YouTube video and this is all on camera. Oh my Do you want to say hi? Hi YouTube. When you're on your way, I'm going to finish filming. I'm so sweaty. Okay, love you. Bye. So as I was saying, I really like this chapstick because my lips get so sunburnt and when I use this I find that it gets a lot less cracked and a lot less burnt and that's why I like the sunblock chapstick instead of just a regular chapstick. The last thing in the pouch is my deodorant. I love to bring deodorant to the beach. I actually use Native 
Um, I really enjoy this brand. It's a natural one and I've tried another natural line before but I forgot what it was called but it gave me such bad like red bumps in my armpit that were like so painful so I just like ended up switching back to just like the other types of deodorant and then I always see the YouTubers do like sponsorship sponsorships with Native and so I was like I might as well try it because no one seemed to have like issues with it and I've loved it so far. This is the coconut vanilla smell and it smells so good and it works really well like even after the beach like I don't find that I smell like BO but it's always nice to have it to like freshen up after you know like especially if you're not going straight home so next in the big part of the backpack I also keep lotion this one's just by Nivea um, I like it because it's not too small where it's gonna run out super quickly and I just like this for after I rinse off in the showers because I get so dry and if we're not going straight home I'm like constantly itchy and I don't know I think it's just because of the salt water but putting this on helps a ton so I like to do that as soon as I get out of those showers before we go do our next adventure okay so up next is my hydro flask this is the Neon Collection. Um, I like, mine's 40 ounces. I feel like I need to drink a ton of water while I'm at the beach because I get sun poisoning so easily. It's so annoying, but I just try to chug a whole bunch of water while I'm at the beach, at least like try to finish this so that way I don't have a headache when I leave. Um, but I highly recommend bringing a Hydro Flask because it stays cold or even a Yeti. Like, you know, they have so many different brands, but just like a big water bottle filled with ice water to stay hydrated throughout the day. thing that I'm going to show you is my speaker. I don't bring this all the time so I kind of forget, but when I do bring it, it is so nice because you get to listen to your own music, get to kind of pick the vibe you want when you're at the beach, especially if you're with your friends, and it's just nice to have like a little speaker with you. This one isn't waterproof or anything, but like it's worked fine at the beach, so this is the Bose. I don't know what it's called, but it's this one. Next thing is a GoPro. This isn't like necessary, but because I have one, I really like to bring it with me to get some cool shots, especially if there's like fish swimming around or like big waves, like it's fun to see. And like my boyfriend goes like out in the waves so he can take this with him. And we try to record when we're like surfing and stuff, but it's hard because we need a mouth mount because this is like so hard, like I could not paddle with it. And it's just fun to have. So I like to bring it just in case we go adventure, like on some rocks or find some tide pools, but highly recommend. This is a GoPro Hero 8 and I love it. Next thing that I'm gonna show you is just eye drops. These are the Clear Eyes Redness Relief. When I'm in salt water for a really long time, my eyes get super bloodshot red and like really dry and just so irritated. So then I find bringing these and putting these in when I get out of the water help so much and I just, I feel like it's a necessity now to have eye drops with you, especially if you're going into salt water. Now I'm going to show you my camera. I have this underwater um, Fujifilm camera. I think it was like $20, maybe $25, but it's so worth it because you can just take such fun pictures underwater, um, especially like even if you don't have a GoPro, this is like still fun. And I still like to bring this even if I bring my GoPro because it's just like memories that you can have. And you can find them at like CVS, drugstores, like all those places have them and I really enjoy that. The last thing in my backpack are my surf wax. This one's Mr. Zog Sex Wax. I don't really use this one, I use the other one. Effort, let me get it, hold on. Okay, so these are the wax that I have in my bag right now for when we go surfing. I like to keep it in there just in case. The brand that I use like more is Sticky Bumps and I like this blue one, which is just the original. Oh. Yeah, it's just the original, but this is Sex Wax Coconut, and um, they're both really good. I just like to keep it in my bag because we always randomly would be like, oh, these waves are good, let's surf here, and then we wouldn't have any wax. So it's just better to keep an extra little bit with you, and yeah, these are the two brands I like. Okay, so that is it for this video. That is everything that I bring to the beach when I go, and if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, I always do that. <laughs>